people coming from Renosis, uh, our own team members. One is Bharat and second is Lalit. They are going to talk about digital experience with uh, Adobe Universe because Adobe has a lot of offerings which can complete your project or you can say digital experience or DXP formula. They have Marketo, Engage, Target, AEM, Commerce and a lot of things. So I think you would be covering all those aspects. And Bharat is an experienced professional with uh, experience in digital transformation. So what he aims is how the brands can be transformed. And Lalita has been a professional with 18 year, 11 years of experience. And he has learned almost anything and everything about technology. You can say PHP, Python, Java, Android. You can name it, he had it. Uh, he has been with Analysis for a long, long time. And I invite both of the friends uh, to join the dais and talk about it. Thank you, Vatsal. Hey, hi, everyone. I hope uh, you had a wonderful uh, your refreshments and you are refreshed. So uh, and once again, thank you very much for joining us today. So uh, uh, and thank you very much, Vatsal, for, for the kind words. So um, today, uh, the topic is very relevant to what we all are here for. It's commerce, right? So commerce is a part of the digital experience we are talking about. And uh, so it's just a little part which we are scratching, right, at the moment. So at the moment, what we will be focusing on giving you the brief about what are the other solutions available which can uh, bring that digital experience in place when it comes to customer. So. Uh, yeah, me and Lalit will be uh, going through the same. So, uh, uh, if we talk about the digital transformation journey, right? So, there was phases. So, how it started is like earlier uh, transformation started for the back office, right? So, that's where like companies, enterprises started investing in ERPs, warehouse management, a lot of other back offices systems. And then uh, the era came where most of the digital transformation was more around front office, like your sales team. So you were investing more on um, e, uh, CRM, then your support team for the services. And the most important part these days is the customer experience. So, uh, and the reason is because we want to uh, leverage that facility to our customers that they can engage with us more, they can understand who we are, at the same time, we can give that experience to them, right? So um, uh, this is a very uh, unique thing and very simple thing I found on the internet and I thought it's good to talk about because when we go in detail, we sometimes forget the basic things, right? So when it comes to brand and when it comes to experience, it's a very similar thing, right? Every company wants to build a brand reputation. So there is a minute difference between a brand and a company. If a brand is fulfilling that experience to the, com uh, to the users, to the customers, they become brand itself. So uh, the brand and experience go hand in hand. So brand is basically a promise. So basically you say uh, why you exist, right? And the experience is the proof that you have delivered that. So if you want to make a brand, you have to give that experience. So it's very simple, the brand is experience and the experience is brand, right? So uh, we all know that uh, when it comes to customer, we want to give them all the best possible uh, ecosystem around. So for example, uh, we have all the multiple channels, let's say mobile, commerce, marketing, web, your brick and mortar stores. So we have these all in place, right? So this is what we call digital transformation. There's a slight difference when it comes to experience is when you give that seamless experience and exposure around all your channels. So let's talk about, um, for example, if you utilize your commerce activities with analytics and you leverage your marketing to give the personalization to the web, or let's say if you know your customers are visiting your brick and mortar stores and you know what they want and then you are utilizing your analytics to
to uh, let's say um, give them the same message personalized message over the social media right so basically you are leveraging all your touch points you are bringing it together and giving them the seamless experience so that's how the digital transformation becomes a digital experience so uh, since we talked about digital experience let's talk about what are the solutions which are provided by adobe to give that experience so uh, commerce is something we all uh, know from yep this why here meet magento so magento has become uh, like enterprise version it's called adobe commerce so commerce is there then we have experience management platform and content management platform so there we have a lot of systems like uh, aem analytics analytics also part of it and then uh, we have data insights and audiences we have different clouds that my friend lalit will explain in a uh, bit then we talk about customer journeys b2b marketing digital en en enrollment and onboarding so there are a lot of solutions which are designed around the same seamless digital experience so uh, i think lalit uh, over to you and i think you will explain how these solutions are very much related sure thanks bharat for sharing about digital experience and uh, adobe offerings i will go a bit detail about each of these offerings so firstly uh, adobe experience platform is there uh, basically adobe experience platform has uh, adobe solutions for generating a uh, customer experience if you talk about adobe offerings there are set of tools on a very high level you can divide those into analytics advertising marketing and commerce cloud so these all comes under uh, adobe experience platform and those are well connected you can utilize one tool into another service also i will go uh, i will take this one by one firstly adobe analytics cloud analytics cloud basically uh, provides actionable data that drives real time personalization uh, analytics we also call it customer journey analytics basically it's an analytics tool that is a one stop solution for your all analytics need if you want to know more about your customer from where they are coming what is their customer behavior where they are spending time which product they are viewing everything you can get in the customer analytics platform and it is a cross platform so if your visitors are coming from mobile web emails all you can track uh, for analytics you sometimes want to target some specific customer suppose you have a travel company or e-commerce company you want to target high value customers so another product is audience manager that helps you where you can create audience segmentations uh, that based on traits also you can define your traits and then audience manager can provide you the customer segmentation once you have a customer segment then you can target according to the customer segment like what you want to sell them suppose a, a specific product you want to sell then you can target those customers it provides you insights within seconds actually so some some analytics tool uh, do huge uh, data lake big data analytics and that takes time like suppose visitors is coming today and uh, you will get to know about that tomorrow but uh, not in the case of uh, adobe analytics uh, in this case you will get in within minutes within seconds basically so based on the user um, journey you can uh, target uh, ads or products uh the next is adobe advertising cloud adobe advertising cloud basically uh, you can use to develop your complete uh, advertising market strategy right from planning building measuring optimizing advice basically it help you to optimize your spend suppose you are uh, as a uh, as a merchant you are uh, spending money on google ads facebook ads video ads so all you can track through this platform so you you will have an eye on your spend and uh, uh, using this platform you can also buy facebook youtube and google ads and uh, it is a cross channel so within a single platform you know all your visitors from where they are coming and how much you are spending on them uh, what is your success rate what is your performance where you are heading it help you to complete holistic campaign planning and a single dashboard as i mentioned you and it ties well with the creative cloud also this uh, i didn't keep this into main offerings but uh, this is another offering some products come under creative cloud like photoshop indesign illustrator 
So where you can manage your advertising content, like you need images, videos. Uh, so those kind of things you can manage into Creative Cloud and they directly fit into, uh, you can use those in Advertising Cloud. Adobe Marketing Cloud is also there for your end-to-end -end marketing need. There are a set of tools, some you are familiar. Suppose Adobe Experience Manager is the number one content management system uh, to build uh, your CMS uh, need. Uh, there is a personalization using Target. Adobe Target you can use for personalized content. So you can have customers and uh, suppose you want 50% of your customer to see different product, 50% some other product or a different layout. So you can target your different customers and then you can see uh, which is being useful, which is impacting. Adobe campaigns you can use to prepare, develop your campaigns, email marketing campaigns. And similar way, Marketo is there for um, marketing uh, related work where you can engage your customers that helps you to basically um, boost revenue. And these all product uh, can serve B2C and B2B both kind of use cases whatever you have. Uh, the next offering is Adobe Commerce Cloud offering. This is, uh, you know, Magento, about Magento. Uh, in, back in 2018, Adobe acquires it. And this is uh, there to create highly engaging shopping experience. You can, uh, there is a bit of content management also. So you can manage your, uh, some, some kind of CMS pages also. And uh, it serves both B2B and B2C and even B2B to C also. You can develop a complete um, marketplace also where different vendors can come, showcase the product, and consumers can come to buy those. And uh, there is a personalization also where in the, in the back end uh, it provides facility to um, segment your customers. You can have separate pricing, different pricing, different product set for different uh, set of customers. And uh, Adobe Commerce is a complete cloud-based solutioning, so you don't need to host your own uh, setup, and it takes care of everything. And uh, one more thing is important after Adobe acquire Adobe Sensei. So Adobe Sensei, it is now powered with Adobe Sensei, AI and ML. Uh, this you can see, you know, some, sometimes you see the pages like the customers who viewed these products also view, then you see the set of product. Sometimes you see recommended for you. So these all are coming from Adobe Sensei. Uh, it is an intelligent tool that recommends the product uh, to increase the, your sales and revenue. Now we have seen a lot of offerings from Adobe. Now let's see how an uh, organization are uh, can use it, the different products. So you can see your customers can be coming from different platform like desktop, mobile, maybe seeing SMS, email. Then they interact with edge, uh, Adobe Global Edge Network. The Global edge, uh, edge Network is responsible for all the data transfer. It is the entry point for all the interactions. So it collects the data. And then uh, you can see customer journey analytics. Analytics is there that basically takes care of storing the analytics data and uh, do the real-time customer profiling, creating customer segmentations, where you can also integrate with third-party apps and uh, take the analytics from some other systems also if you are using, like Google Analytics. And below the Edge Network, you can see a set of cloud apps which you are using. Like AEM Sites is there that you can use AEM uh, Manager, Adobe Experience Manager to develop AEM Sites that you can uh, use to deliver your content. Adobe Target are there for personalized content. Journey Optimizer, Adobe Campaigns, Marketo. So different kind of tools you can use in your customer journey. And uh, for your content need, uh, you may be having only a corporate brand website, content site only. So you can use Experience Manager uh, for your content management and Adobe Assets to manage your assets. If you are running uh, e-commerce, definitely you can use Adobe Commerce. That's come with complete end-to-end e-commerce solution. Uh, it also provides a flavor of order management and PIM. Workfront is also another product Adobe acquired. This is basically an enterprise project management tool. It's not like only project management. It does a lot of things. It also helps you to develop complex workflows to 
meet the customer need. And uh, mostly organization use it for in-house purpose. And uh, it helped uh, to promote collaboration in, in the organization. And as I mentioned, all these Adobe services are well connected to each other. So Creative Clouds products like Photoshop, Illustrator you can use to prepare your marketing content or your website content and then directly use those into other Adobe products. So here you can see we have experience using different Adobe cloud apps. Then we have content and commerce management and then we have real-time analytics. So everything you can cover. So Adobe help you to provide all the tools you need to develop a digital customer experience that is exceptional. So you can get more customer basically. Yeah, that's all from my side. Bharat. So thank you everyone for gathering here. So the purpose was just to scratch the surface and just to get an idea that how the tools are available within the ecosystem, within the universe to give that experience. It's, it's, so it's all about ecosystem, right? So uh, when you buy, just I'm giving an example, don't put it over there. But for example, uh, Apple products, right? It's a closed ecosystem. You, you do not need to worry about the integration or that gives you the uh, features, that seamless experience beyond a normal integration, right? So that's how uh, these products are well connected internally. So you don't need to worry about uh, um, how this integration would uh, be a challenging part of it. So uh, yeah, that is all and uh, thank you for being a very kind audience. And uh, we are, me and Lalita are around here. So if you need to discuss in any detail, we are available and happy to support. So once again, thank you very much. Thanks, Vatsal. Yeah. Uh, any questions? I think uh, guys explained uh, all Adobe products and uh, that uh, content cloud and then there is a creative cloud how to connect how amalgamation happen how you can integrate and connect different products I think these guys have beautifully presented that how all three can be connected and can be served so you need not pick up different solutions but you can have all integrations coming from Adobe products so awesome uh, anyone have a question we can have a quick question and then we will join the general track no one? Okay. Thank you, Lalit and Bharat. Thank you. Uh, thank, thank you. you.